Hey everybody, Sports Live and ATL David. Yes, this is David. David is Sleeta. David is Sports Live and ATL. I know BVD always is like, how come you say Sports Live and ATL David? Because we know it's you, David. We know David's Slitter. We know Sports Live is Slitter. We know Sports Live and Slitter is David. Just got to remind you in case you forget. Now I'm doing this video right here. I, I'm watching the Uncle Lou show and they're talking about six, this caller called in and, and gave a great, a great call and asked about successful YouTube channels. Um, how to become a successful YouTube channel. Now for me, define successful YouTube channel. Now if you want to base a successful YouTube channel on thousands and thousands of subs and a lot of money coming in and TV shows and merchandise, that would not be my channel. Uncle Lou does a fabulous job with that. Um, a lot of other YouTubers out there who have uh, channels like that do a great job at that because they put a lot of work into their channel. Uh, also, one thing he said that was really that was really that really hit with me is you need to be able to connect with the audience. You need to be able to connect with the audience, draw their interest in. You need to have a personality, and you also need to have a little bit of luck. Now, me, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it like it is. My per I have a good personality. I I I don't have a sarcastically witty, you know, quick comeback. You know, where people can come back like this kind of personality. So I don't have that. Um, what I have that makes my channel what it is. Granted. My channel is stagnant as it could possibly be. I have tried everything. Um, but one thing that I know that I provide on my channel is realism. I'm one of the... You will not find a more diehard Atlanta Falcons fan with more passion. More, more passion. When the Falcons lose, it crushes me. When the Braves lose, it crushes me. When Georgia loses, it crushes me. When the Hawks, the Flames lose, it crushes me. When Atlanta United, when they lose, it crushes me. The Flames, it crushes me. When we win, you see how exhilarated I get. The one thing about me is that I find ironic is, granted, my channel makes very little money. This last paycheck, I had like $129, and right now it's nothing, pretty much. Um, but I do appreciate everybody that does contribute and, and, and join. I, trust me, I love you guys, and I appreciate it. And I'm going to still do what I can to, you know, to keep up my end of the bargain. And I'm going to still try to provide all my subscribers and viewers with the best possible content for Atlanta sports and for fun and comedy when, and, when, and realism whenever it sees fit. But I put a lot of passion on my channel. And I am extremely thankful for where my channel has become as considered to where I started. I mean, when I started, I hit it off just like that. Boom. People disliked me and just and had so much disdain for me. And, you know, but I also have a lot of loyal people. And due to contrary belief, and I said this before, even the trolls that dislike me, the video makers that don't like me, when you comment, and you talk about me, it still makes me feel good. You want to know why? Because it means that I still matter. If people don't talk about anybody who does videos in a good or negative way, if they don't do that, then they don't care what they have to say. So whether the reason is of what or why people watch my videos, the fact is when they subscribe to my channel and they see a slit of video, they have to watch it. They may not always comment, but they watch it. They make videos. During the football season, they know when the Falcons win. I've seen it throughout the years. They come and flood my page because they love the fact of when I laugh at another team. Although they love more when I rant. When the Falcons lose, that's some of my best videos because they just come on and, and laugh and let me have it and say, say all kinds of stuff. So I'm grateful. Uh, my channel may not be the most successful channel, may not be the best channel, may not make a lot of money on YouTube, but what I appreciate about my channel is that 
I have a lot of good people who are loyal to my channel for all these years and even some of the newbies regardless of what I say and they stick with me and I really do appreciate it. Um, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. Thank you. You guys have made uh, my YouTube channel fun to come on. Uh, for a while there it was not. And um, But to define a successful YouTube channel, a successful YouTube channel it does, does, does not mean that you have to have thousands and thousands of subs. It does help because the more subs you have, the more people you have to interact with. It's not defined on how much money you make. Although that is good. To me, what makes a successful YouTube channel is doing something that you enjoy doing and having as many loyal followers and people who, who love to, to watch what you do and will go out of their way to watch. And when I see comments on my on my videos that says, David, especially during the football season, it says, David, I, I knew you were going to come out with the video. I was waiting on it all day. That makes me smile. It really does. It really makes me smile when I hear things like that. Uh, when people come on videos and say, Dave, man, you're doing a great job. Just keep doing your thing. It, it touches me. When people come on and say, hey, Dave, man, I was working all day, but I know so-and-so team lost and I knew you were going to rag on them and I just had to come and click on your video. I was waiting for it. That makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to know that I can at least give certain people, not everybody, but certain people the happiness and something to look forward to. Now, are my videos the best? No. Are my live streams the best? Although, when, pe when I do live streams, people come in, look at the numbers, the videos, during the football season, during when I do games and rants and stuff, I do wish I was able to connect with the audience on a different level. But I can't change who I am um, to make my channel better. I, I, I just come on here and I'm David and I'm Slitta. And what I do here is going to have to be enough. And if that means that my channel never gets to 2,000 subs, so be it. If it means I don't make much money on my channel, so be it. I've done a lot of good things from YouTube. I've been on ESPN. I've been to Philadelphia. I've been to New Orleans. Uh, a lot of the gifts and the stuff that's back here I got because of YouTube. So I'm extremely grateful. Don't think that I'm not appreciative of everything that I got from my time on YouTube. Whether it was trolls, negative, good, or bad. I appreciate all the interaction that I've gotten from YouTube because it makes the sports part fun and so I appreciate it so in my mind my channel is a successful channel it may not be the best channel okay I can't edit nor do I want to I'm not quick-witted all the time um, I don't have time to do this do that but you best believe every time when I flick on the camera to do a video or live stream I'm gonna come at you and be me be real and do everything I can to stay within myself to give all you guys some entertainment, um, some great sports talk when the games are being played, and to show the loyalty to people who are really loyal to my channel. And uh, that's all that I could promise. And um, so I thank you very much. I thank everybody who, is, who has made this fun for me to come on all these years. And I look forward to the season. I look forward to this year. And then taking it from there. And I wish everybody's channel nothing but the best. But a successful YouTube channel takes effort. It takes dedication. And takes patience. And it takes keeping a mindset to where you cannot be jealous or hating on other people's success. And I'm guilty of it. And I apologize. The success of one's channel is based upon the individual whose channel it is. And if you are looking at other channels and getting upset by it, then you need to find out what you're doing wrong. So that's the advice that I got. But I enjoy it. I will always enjoy it. And uh, I will continue to, to do what I can on my channel to entertain everybody who comes on my channel. So from the bottom of my heart, Sports Live and ATL, Slitta, David, thank you.